Well, greetings, everybody. So I want to take a few minutes to talk about this problem from our assignment, which says, can you calculate the area of the region bounded by the curve sine x and the x-axis on the interval from negative pi over 3 to 3 pi over 4? So I, two things jump out at me about this. Uh, one is area, and then the next is that I have a specific curve. Okay, And... Um, Let's do this. Let's talk about the relationship between the definite integral and area first, because finding a specific area on a graph is at least one component of this question. And then once we understand that, we'll talk about how you solve this question in particular. Okay, so what's the relationship between the definite integral and area? I can break it down into two cases, okay? So let's say that um, we have a curve f of x and it's entirely positive from a to b on the x-axis, okay? Then this definite integral, lower bound a, upper bound b, whatever the answer to that turns out to be, however you work it, will be the area of this region, okay? All right. Now, second case, what if the curve is entirely negative from a to b along the x-axis all right we can still use the definite integral to find the area of this region contained by the curve in the x-axis it's the opposite of the integral lower bound a upper bound b f of x dx okay so that's the connection uh, if the curve is above the x-axis between the bounds on the integral the integral gives you the area and if the curve is below the x-axis between the bounds of the integral, then the integral gives you the opposite of the area. So you just have to correct the sign. It gives you the right number in this case, but it gives you this negative, which you're going to have to throw out. Okay. All right. Now, I think I could use these two or some combination of these two principles to find any area that's described, okay? So here I'm given the curve is sine x and I look at the interval from negative pi over three to three pi over four. So let's start by looking at what that seems to be. So here I've graphed by hand the curve sine x on the interval where x is bigger than negative pi over three but less than three pi over four, okay? And I've drawn that by hand and I know that's not perfect but it's accurate in this respect that from negative pi over three to zero the curve sine x is below the x-axis. It's entirely negative on that interval. And from 0 to 3 pi over 4, it's entirely positive. Okay, So if I'm supposed to find the measurement of this area that is contained by the curve sine x and the x-axis on this interval, that I could break it into two regions and, and solve them separately. Okay, So I'll say like, Region A goes from negative pi over 3 to 0, and I'll call region B the part that goes from 0 to 3 pi over 4, and I'll use these principles individually to find out how big A is and how big B is, and then I'll just add them together, okay? So region A. Region A is going to be the opposite of this integral right here, negative pi over 3 to 0 sine x dx. Okay, now one thing I haven't talked about yet in this video is once you get this integral set up, how do you solve it? Like over here, I'm saying, do you see these? The answers to these are the areas that are indicated in those pictures. How do you answer them? Well, to solve a definite integral, we use the th uh, one way to do it at least is to use the fundamental theorem of calculus, where I find the antiderivative of this. So let's say sine x, what's the antiderivative of that? What do you take the derivative of to get sine x? That would be negative cosine x, okay? And I evaluate between the bounds, 0 pi over, negative pi over 3. I put 0 into the antiderivative first. You get negative cosine 0. Then I subtract. I put negative pi over 3 into the antiderivative. I get negative cosine negative pi over 3. I calculate those, and my final result is negative 1 half. So what that means is the physical size of this region, A, its area, how big it is, is one half of a square unit as units are measured on that graph. So the area is a half, all right? What about region B? Okay, so 
The bounds for that are 0 to 3 pi over 4. So bounds on my integral 0 to 3 pi over 4 sine x dx. Same antiderivative as over here. That wouldn't change. Put in my upper bound 3 pi over 4, subtract, put in my lower bound 0, calculate, I get 1 over root 2 plus 1. Okay? All right. Now, so I know how big A and B are individually. The total shaded area, as indicated in this question, is going to be the size of A and the size of B. So by my calculations, that's 1 half plus 1 over root 2 plus 1. Uh, I can add 1 half and 1. That's 3 halves plus 1 over root 2. Okay? All right. And that's the answer that you see given there. So that's how it's done. If you see other problems where it's mentioned that you find the area bounded by a curve and the x-axis, then these are the principles that are in play. You may have to break it into pieces. Uh, you may have to work several integrals depending on what the case is but what I would do is start with a graph either get something to graph it for you graphing calculator use something online draw it yourself if you want to uh, just to see with some accuracy where the curve is negative and positive and where it crosses over the x-axis within the interval that you're given